Welcome back to Surprise Surprise and please welcome Holly Addison and her best friend Lauren Hawke. Well, ladies, let's just get to meet you both. How old are you? Uh, we're both 21. Both 21. OK, and how do you know each other? Um, we met at university. Um, we studied at the Liverpool Institute for Performing Arts. Um, we're both on the same course, music, right. theatre and entertainment management. And couldn't get rid of our best friends <laughs> ever since. <laughs> so you both share this passion for music, right? Yeah. yeah. OK. Now, Lauren, you wrote to me about Holly. Why was that? I wrote to you about Holly because she is one of the strongest people that I know and I wanted everyone to recognise how special she is. Last year she lost her dad to brain cancer and the way that she did something so positive out of it was just incredible and she's just amazing so I wanted everyone to know that. <laughs> and losing somebody like your dad must be absolutely devastating. Yeah, I mean, it's just heartbreaking um, when you finally, like hear the words cancer, I guess, felt like my whole world crashed mm -hmm. around me. And, and it was sort of, as your father's health was deteriorating, you decided that you were going to start raising money for the, the hospice that was caring for him. Yeah, they are just amazing. I think they make you feel so at home. And the nurses kind of became like your family as well. And it's such a small hospice, but the work they do is incredible. And I wanted my money to go to them. You as want much to as give I can. something back. Yeah. Lauren, how has Holly gone on to use her passion for music to help raise money for these cancer charities? One way that she's fundraised has been through charity gigs. So when you're not organising these charity music gigs, who do you listen to? Oh gosh. <laughs> well, we obviously listen to a lot of people, but Pharrell's on pretty constantly. Yeah. <laughs> Pharrell is your number one. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Well, thanks to Lauren, I know all about Holly's love of Pharrell Williams, but I can't just call up the world's biggest pop star and ask him for a lunch date in London, can I? Just try and stop me. <laughs> and with a little help from Dave Berry, we gave Holly a day she'll never forget. This is a huge undercover operation. We have cameras hidden everywhere. They're in the plants. They're in the rafters. We can see everything. In just a few hours' time, Holly and her friends are going to walk through that door. But what they don't know is, Holly is about to have the greatest lunch ever. Here they are. This is their little group of friends. So Holly has no idea that what we've managed to do is line up Holly's idol, international superstar Pharrell Williams. He's going to be here in a couple of minutes' time and give her the surprise of a lifetime. Pharrell. How are you, my man? How are you? Good to see you. Yes, Welcome. Sir. Thank you for coming along today. Really appreciate it. I'm honoured to be here. You know, it's always good to, you know, to remind people when they're doing the right thing. And we just need more people like that in humanity to just care. Well, that's a lovely thing to say, and I know that Holly is going to be absolutely blown away when she meets you. Thank you. Now, I think it's time we got this show on the road. Waiter, go.
think it's about the time he went and met Holly. Okay. <laughs> Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Pharrell, couldn't wait to meet you. Holly, Pharrell, Pharrell, Holly. Yes. First of all... I'm not ashamed. I know. First of all, this is amazing what you've done for your friend. Are you actually joking? Why is going on? Because what she's done <laughs> is she's, she's written to the show and told us all about all of the incredible charity work that you've done. Your yes. father would be super proud of you. Oh, my God. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing what you've done. This is like something. I can't yes. Can I just talk to you? Of course. When anyone says to me, like, if you could meet anyone in the world, who would it be? I'm like, Pharrell. Are you going to touch his face? Is that what you're going to do right now? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> The most amazing thing that could have happened to me today was that right there. What you've done in honor of your father <laughs> was so amazing. I was so happy and pleased to be here just to say thank you. Having what happened to you is one of the worst things that can happen to a young person, but you turn every negative thing into a positive thing, and I am so, so, so proud to call you my best friend. <laughs> Well done, Holly. Great to see you, Pharrell. <laughs> well done. Oh, my goodness, Holly. That was the best reaction to a surprise I have ever, ever seen. What was going through your mind? When I clocked his face, I, I thought Shocked. I was going to do myself an injury. I felt myself <laughs> After it all happened, I was like... All I did was stroke his face. I was thinking, I didn't say thank you or anything, so I decided just to put it in a letter to give to him at some point, just explaining how grateful I was and how thankful I was for him to take that time out. Do you want me to take that? Yes, please do. I will promise, next time I see him, I will give this to him. But do you know what? I think you'll probably see him before me. <laughs> because, surprise, surprise, take a look at this. Hi, Holly, it's Pharrell here again. Um, I apologize that I can't be with you in the studio tonight. So please, if you'd accept this gift, please come to the O2 show in October and please come backstage and say hello. And I hope you enjoy yourself. Oh my God. <laughs> you can hang out with Pharrell again. You can touch his face. You've never seen him live in concert, have you? No, I haven't. Um, oh, that's amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, you are more than welcome. Um, I wanted to ask you, what's next for your fundraising plans? What have you got? Back in Liverpool, I can put some more gigs on because I find them the best way to raise money. They're so fun for everyone and it helps the local music scene. It means I can put my degree to good use. Well, it sounds like you've got a very busy year. And actually, I think I can help you with a little bit of fundraising because surprise, surprise, Barry M are creating your very own Holly A lip gloss. You get to choose the scent. You get to choose the colour. And that lip gloss will be sold on their website for six months and they're going to donate 70% oh. of the proceeds to a charity of your choice. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so that's going to be a massive oh. help, isn't it? More than you could imagine. That's incredible. <laughs> You're doing so much for others in memory of your dad. I imagine he's going to be incredibly proud of you. Thank you so much for giving us the best surprise reaction <laughs> ever. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Lauren and Holly. <laughs> there are more incredible stories and amazing surprises on the way, so join us after the break. <laughs>